Hi, this is Lori Whitlock, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the birdcage file that you'll find at the Silva online store and at lauriewhitlock.com. And in front of me, I have the birdcage cut out. It fits on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, other than the two bottom pieces and a little washer, and those go on a separate piece of paper. But basically, I have um, started assembling this just to save a little bit of time on video. But the first thing you're going to want to do is fold all of the little flaps to the inside of the birdcage. Um, when it's in a long sheet, you're going to want to just fold those all one direction, all the way around. And then you'll notice there's um, an area here where there's a little triangled piece. You're going to glue it to the inside. And then all the way up this seam, you're going to overlap those, um, that single piece to the birdcage so that holds it all into a nice circle like this. I'm going to open that up just a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, so now we are left with needing to finish the bottom of the birdcage and then just assemble the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take one of my bottom pieces and adhere, apply some glue to the outside edge of that um, all the way around. Okay. Make sure that's going to stick down in there really well. Then I'm going to take that piece and put it inside the birdcage and drop it to the bottom. And just go ahead and stick it down really well on the edges all the way around on those little flaps. Makes a really nice, neat bottom in the bottom of the birdcage. Then you can flip this over and see the bottom side. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue to the circle that's going to finish this off on the bottom. And I'm just going to make sure I get it nice and all the way to the edge because you don't want that lifting and making your project look messy. So go ahead and coat that really well so it sticks down nicely. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that right on the bottom of this bird cage and stand it up. Put my hand down inside to apply some pressure to that bottom. Okay, now that that is put together, the last thing that's left to do is to just pull all these center pieces together and um, attach with a brad. So I'm going to take up my brad. I've got a little brad here, just a little brad, and then I'm going to go ahead and start threading each of these pieces. Actually, I'm probably going to do, hmm, how do I want to do this? I just go around threading each one individually. I'm just stacking one on top of the other. trick left is to try and get that brad opened up inside of there. So I'm going to just put my finger down in there on the side and flatten that out. And there you have it. And you have got a really cute tall and skinny bird cage. Anyways, um, the top is just finished off nicely with a little brad and that little washer. Hopefully that helps. Anyways, what a cute centerpiece this would be for the spring, cut out of some really cute paper. And I will probably design a few more bird cages in some different sizes and shapes. Um, and you can just follow this tutorial on how to assemble those because they will be manufactured the same, similar way. Anyways, you have a great day and I hope you enjoy your cute little bird cages.